Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft is what I do. As we are continuing on our journey to understanding and learning the Tarot Lessons 101, we find ourselves here journeying along, crossing paths with the major arcana number 18, the moon, the ruler of the flux and reflux, the child of the sons of the mighty zodiacal trump of Pisces, Neptune and Jupiter rules, Venus exalted. The moon below a path leads between two roads guarded by dogs or jackals in the original form, tree of life path 29. Let the illusion of the world pass over. Unheeded as thou goes from the midnight to the morning. This trump, at her lowest avatar, she joins the earthly spear, the moon of witchcraft, and abominable deeds. She is the poison darkness, which is the condition of the rebirth of light. There is no doubt many paint this card as a spooky card. It represents the light and the darkness. It is a light that illuminates your dreams and your nightmares. We recall that the trump attributed to the moon is in connection with the high priestess. She is the waxing moon and represents the moon in a higher aspect, that of forming a link between the human and the divine. Now before my brothers and sisters of the craft take offense. <laughs> Let me hasten to the point that of the witchcraft Crowley is referring to in the above quote is not the nature loving and life affirming religion of the neo-pagan movement that have proliferated around the world since his death in 1947. It is more the imagined witchcraft spawned and the tortured and obscene fantasies of the fanatic witch hunters the moonlight of the major arcana the moon is that which illuminates the path that the majority of nightmares of all of us who cannot acknowledge the dark horrors of our own fears the moon card shows a path through and beyond this nightmare but it is not an easy path and the myths of all ages, cultures, proves that this journey through the poison darkness is an obligatory chapter in every hero's quest. This path is guarded by taboo. She is uncleanliness and sorcery. Upon the hills are the back towers of nameless mystery of horror and of fear. All superstition, dead tradition, and ancestral loathing, all combined to darkness in her face before the eyes of men, and needs unconquerable courage to begin to tread this path. The path runs between two towers guarded by twin figures of the Egyptian god Anubis, god of embalming and guardian of cities of the dead. Poison blood drips from the dying moon, the creature walking out of the water at the bottom of the card represents the beetle, symbolic of the Egyptian god Kepra, who is the god of the sun at midnight. Traditional decks usually show a crawfish or even a lobster instead of, you know, instead of the beetle. Um, it is, like I said, a symbolism of the lord of the sun at midnight. It becomes somewhat lost in memories of melted butter. I must confess, nevertheless, it carries the sun out of the dark water and by doing so assures that this awful night will eventually come to an end. One is reminded of the mental echo of subconscious realization of that supreme inquity in which mystics have constantly celebrated in their accounts of the dark night of the soul. But the best men, the true men, do not consider the matter and such turns at all whatever um, hearsay of the soul. 
whatever abominations excited the loathing of the heart, whatever terrors of the mid of the mind, the answer is the same at every stage. How splendid is it, the adventure? When you get the major arcana of the moon, think of it as I am weary. You know, you think that I'd be a fan of this card. It's about intuition and who doesn't love the moon. That's why I'm doing your, you know, that's why doing your homework is very important in the tarot, understanding it. This card is about intuition, but not the fun kind. It's about the feeling you get before you get in an accident, before a natural disaster. Animals oftentimes behave erratically. That's this card. That's what it represents. It's the same primal thing we share with the dog and the wolf. Something is coming and it isn't good. The way that the path seems illuminated is creepy. You can't see where it's going and you can't see well enough or far enough to make your own path. You have to trust someone else to make decisions for you. Anxiety, nervousness, looming towers, rough waters, and a freaky lobster rising from the depths. There is a lot of power present in this card, but it's the kind that you cannot control and you're not going to like the process when this comes up in a reading. One of the things that I talk about is that sometimes we're scared for a reason. Sometimes there is someone down that dark road with bad intentions. Sometimes you just don't have a cold. It's worse. Sometimes that guy who gives you the creeps at the store is exactly what you think he is. We've got to pay attention to, to all of these hidden beneath our prefrontal cortex, telling us that some things, there is a freaking lion out there in the tall grass, and maybe we should get the hell out of there. I hear many readers when pulling this card talking about intuition, and though this is very true, it's about listening to your intuition primarily when all the bells and whistles are going off. When you get that gut-wrenching feeling at the pit of your stomach that something is off, that you should not continue or proceed on the path that you're on, that dream that seems like a nightmare and waking up still has you shaken trying to decipher the dream because something is telling you that this wasn't just a dream, that this was a message, a prophetic dream, a warning. Yep, this card is heavy for sure. I think that fear, real fear, is dismissed a lot these days. You're paranoid, you're being overprotective, or you're projecting, or whatever generic phrase has become popular lately. I get this a lot with my nephews. I am very, very protected. And Whenever someone questions me, I remind them that it takes eight seconds to kidnap a child. Eight seconds. You're damn right that scares me. And I'm going to protect my family. That's the moon card reminding you to walk with authority to your card, to lock the door to your house, and to remember that every tall is a weapon if you hold it right and how you wield it. Your fear is the blade facing toward you or away from you. Why are we afraid? Because we don't know. We just don't know. There is such anxiety tied with uncertainty in this card. Sometimes this card can also represent the, the anxiousness, the fear that the client may possess or carry, which is why they come to consult with you. There is this thing about humans being scared of the unknown, the unexplainable, the unpredictable, the weird, the fear of not taking action because there's fear connected to the uncertainty of success that your heart desires, which is why 85% of humans are not willing to put themselves out there. They're scared of chasing or pursuing their dreams and getting out of their comfort zone to not succeed. Yep, the uncertainty of it all is what freaks most people out. I'm sure you have been sick or devastated or heartbroken a dozen of times, but there was more certainty to your life than uncertainty, so that was okay. Not knowing, not being sure, not having answers, and not being able to control a single goddamn thing, this is the moon card, you guys. This is fear. This card can also represent psychic awareness, astral projection, hidden agenda, secrets, and magic 
especially if the high priestess or the devil card are pulled out with this card. This is all about the hidden. This is all about what is happening behind the scenes. A deeper way of looking at it, for example, have you ever been introduced to someone that perhaps a loved one, someone you care for is dating and the initial interaction just completely throws you off, giving you very bad vibes, bad juju? Or have you ever been in a relationship where you're plagued with questions and doubts that keep you up late at night, tossing and turning, overanalyzing, becoming your partner's because your partner, sorry, because your partner's telling you that you're crazy for overthinking, but something just doesn't seem right. Or that coworker that gives you very bad vibes and it's driving you insane, only to find out that in fact, your intuition was 100% correct, that your partner was in fact entertaining that coworker or that that boyfriend or girlfriend of your loved one turned out to be the worst nightmare for them. That is what this card's energy carries. The health issue that you've been so scared and fearful of taking that trip to the doctor. So you try to ignore it. Maybe it will go away. Maybe I will get better. And you pull this card out. The moon card shows up. This is screaming the fear you have is your intuition picking up that you should in fact take and have taken that trip to the doctor months ago. And wishing and hoping is not going to make it better. If anything, it's made it worse. It's time you take your ass to the doctor to the best of your interest. Or for example, that weird neighbor that seems almost too perfect, but extremely private and too put together that just, that just rubs you the wrong way, only to find out their dark secret being exposed, their past coming back to haunt them, or simply finding out that you were right about the energy. This is what this major arcana, the moon, means this is the energy it carries it is a beautiful card and it's enigma because it could have a multitude of different representations and meanings but the ultimate energy that it carries is in fact that a hidden motive of things not being what they seem it is about illusions it is about um listening to the intuition but that scary intuition not the positive kind, unless, of course, it's surrounding by very positive cards as well. So in essence, I hope you're able to capture and understand better have a feel for this card. And I hope I was able to assist you, guide you, and help you with better understanding of the major arcana of the moon. It is my wish that you are better able to connect with this card and understand its energy what it's trying to communicate. And as always, it has been a pleasure and I can't wait to see you again. Until next time, my lovelies. Bye-bye.